Well, this was a great week for PC gamers. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate Under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. That's right, GPU prices are continuing to plummet this week, and in fact, there's been a number of SKUs that have dropped fairly significantly, making this one of the better weeks that we've been tracking for some time. In fact, if we take a look, actually, NVIDIA cards for the first time in a while, there are some certain SKUs that have actually reached their MSRP, so that's some very, very exciting stuff. So if you're someone who's been looking for a NVIDIA card, well, now there's actually going to be a few options for you, depending on how much you're willing to spend. Now, over on the AMD side, things are definitely looking really good as well, but let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the GPU prices that have been available this week, and then we'll talk about, once again, whether or not it's finally worth buying GPUs, and if so, which GPUs you should be trying to purchase, and which ones you should be avoiding, considering that the RTX 40 series isn't too far away. So let's go ahead and start off with some AMD graphics cards as the prices here are probably looking just a little bit better overall when compared to NVIDIA. And starting off with the RX 6900 XT, I actually saw an absolutely shocking price on this one of 900 US dollars. Now, of course, $900 is definitely a lot of money for a graphics card in 2022, especially considering that these cards have been out for over a year and a half at this point. But we do have to keep in mind that the RX 6900 XT, its MSRP is actually 999 US dollars. And for the last couple of weeks, we did actually see it go ahead and hit its MSRP. But for the first time ever, it has dropped below its MSRP and it actually did stay at $900 for a decent amount of time. Now I checked today and it looks like it went up to $950, but honestly, I think all signs are pointing towards it is probably going to rest somewhere around $900 or even possibly lower, which is actually a really decent price in my opinion for the RX 6900 XT. Now moving on to the RX 6800 XT, this one was a little bit less impressive, but it did drop to a new all-time low of $800 US dollars, so there's definitely been some movement there considering that about last week it was somewhere around $850. Now taking a look at the RX 6800, this one is possibly the least impressive and in my opinion goes to show that basically AMD doesn't want to sell this graphics card because I saw it for $760. Once again, this is definitely an improvement over last week where I saw it for around $800, but $40 drop isn't too much, especially when you consider that the RX 6800 XT is better and for only $40 more, I really don't think the 6800 makes any sense. But now moving on to the RX 6700 XT and this one basically hit its MSRP this week. Uh, in fact, it's been available on AMD amd.com for its msrp for a little while now although it does tend to go kind of like in and out of stock but i did actually see some aib models for 485 dollars so honestly yeah that's actually a pretty decent price for the rx 6700 xt but like i've been saying in the past i would like to see this card drop somewhere between 400 to 450 dollars especially considering how long it's been out and that it is really more of a 3060 ti competitor than it is an rtx 3070 competitor now moving on to the rx 6600 xt and this one's actually very impressive we finally saw it drop below low its MSRP as well. I saw it drop to as low as $370 over on Newegg. But now moving on to NVIDIA, as I do know that a lot of you guys like to run NVIDIA cards in your personal systems for one reason or another. So let's go ahead and talk about NVIDIA and starting off with the top end card that I would even possibly think about purchasing, the RTX 3080 Ti. I'm not really going to be taking a look at the 3090 or 3090 Ti as I do believe those cards are basically a huge waste of money. However, it is interesting to note that the RTX 3090 Ti, well, it's been sitting on store shelves for about $2,000 of its MSRP for some time now, including the Founders Edition, so I guess if you want it, it's available at its MSRP, it's just not good. But in any case, let's go ahead and talk about the RTX 3080 Ti, as this card over the last week did actually hit its MSRP not only on AIB models, but also on the Founders Edition as well. So yes, you heard me correctly, the RTX 3080 Ti is available at its MSRP of $1,200. Now, is it actually worth it? Honestly, probably not, but we'll go ahead into what GPUs you should buy and shouldn't in just a little bit here. But now let's go ahead and talk about the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte. This one was available for $970. Here, this is actually an improvement over last week as I believe the cheapest one we found was $999. Yes, it did drop about 30 bucks, so nothing too interesting there. But again, it still is a new all-time low. Now, talking about the RTX 3080, and this one is actually very, very interesting because I know that a lot of people have been looking for the RTX 3080, and it has been the most resistant to price drops because of just how much demand there is for this card. However, I got some great news for you guys this week. The RTX 3080 did drop in price very, very significantly. In fact, it hit a new all-time low in terms of its price of 
$10, I believe after a little coupon code that you put into Newegg.com. Now, I haven't checked to see if it's still available right now, but yeah, $820 for an RTX 3080 is starting to get fairly reasonable. Now, moving on to the RTX 3070, honestly, I'm not even going to be taking a look at the 3070. I'm just going to look at the 3070 Ti uh, because unfortunately, the 3070 is going for more money than the 3070 Ti. It doesn't make any sense. So the 3070 Ti is $700. Honestly, there hasn't been too much movement. Yes, it did drop in price, but $700 is just way too much money for a 3070 Ti. But now let's go ahead and talk about the RTX 3060 Ti. And this one is sitting for around $560. Again, not too much movement in terms of the price. And uh, then finally talking about the 3060, this one's available for $410. Honestly, these are probably some of the lower prices I've seen on these cards, but it just seems like these entry to mid-level uh, GPUs from NVIDIA are just really resisting price drops and they're taking the absolute longest when you take a look at all their other cards. So it's a little bit frustrating if you're looking to get into PC gaming for the first time and you don't want to spend a lot of money. Unfortunately, it looks like you're going to have to wait just a little bit longer than everybody else. But speaking of waiting, now we have to go ahead and talk about, you know, is it finally worth buying GPUs and which ones should you actually buy? And honestly, guys, I'm going to say yes and no. Yes, it is worth buying certain GPUs, whereas some other GPUs really aren't worth purchasing or even thinking about whatsoever. And honestly, in my opinion, it wouldn't be too bad of an idea to wait no matter what GPU you're looking at. But if you want to buy a GPU right now and you're not willing to wait anymore, which ones are actually worth considering? And honestly, I'm going to have to go ahead and say the RX 6900 XT would probably be my choice if you're looking at getting basically the fastest GPU on the market because the 6900 XT does trade blows with the RTX 3080 Ti and in a lot of cases, it can be faster for resolutions like 1080p or 1440p, which I do know that a lot of gamers still tend to play at. So if you're someone who's looking for a competitive GPU, that might be a great option for you depending on the game that you play. And honestly, if you can find it for $900, I think that's a pretty decent price. Again, I would like to see it go lower, but overall $900 compared to $1,200, it's definitely going to be a no-brainer in my opinion, unless you need special stuff like DLSS or something like that. Now, if you have to have NVIDIA, honestly, I'm going to have to go ahead and say that the RTX 3080 at $820 isn't too bad. Yes, it should definitely be cheaper, but if you get a good AIB model and it's $820, bucks, it's not really too much over what you would expect to pay in a typical market if we weren't faced with all these ridiculous shortages in cryptocurrency mining that we just went through. But again, I'm going to have to go ahead and say here that the 3080 is dropping in price pretty significantly. So even for $820, even though that does look good, I think if you wait a couple more weeks, it's going to hit a much more reasonable price, probably under $800. And at that point, you're probably going to feel a lot better about your purchase. Now, if $800 is still too much because that is a lot of money to spend on a graphics card, well, honestly, I think you have two other options that actually are worth purchasing and aren't too bad. The RX 6700 XT for 480 bucks is actually a pretty good deal. And the RX 6600 XT is also a great deal for $10 under its MSRP for $370. Of course, again, I would like to see these cards drop even lower, but at their current prices, they're not bad whatsoever. And I do recommend you purchase them. So I'm going to go ahead and try and find some Amazon affiliate links and drop them in the description below. So if you want to stay up to date on all the various different deals and the prices of GPUs and when you should be buying stuff, make sure that you do go ahead and get subscribed as I am planning to put together some videos, you know, talking about which GPUs you should buy at every single price range going forward as GPU prices continue to drop. But overall, honestly, guys, it's starting to look like the GPU market is fully recovering. This whole cryptocurrency thing is done and gamers can finally rise up and get those great GPU prices, especially right before the next generation launches. Uh, but if you do want to wait for the next generation, hey, I don't blame you because it's definitely looking really, really powerful. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think it's worth buying GPUs right now or do you think you should continue to wait? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.